Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol Tadiva. Today I'm going to be doing some very easy to follow bantu knots in my hair. But for some of you guys, it may be a little bit challenging. So just watch as I show you step by step exactly what I'm doing. To get your parting nice and straight, you want to use a rat tail comb, something like this one. Believe me, it makes all the difference when parting your hair. So the first parting I'm taking out in the front is going to be in a triangular shape with the front wide and the pointy part is going to be towards the back. To get my party nice and straight, I'm going to be using this jam from BTL. I have been using it for a while now and I have to say that I absolutely love it. It works so well with my hair texture. So as I section everything out, I'm going to twist them and pin them away. And the reason why I'm doing this instead of just, you know, braid it as I'm going to need it. It's because just in case I have to fix any parting or anything like that, it won't be too hard to fix. Now I'm going to take the section out at the side and I'm going to start the parting off at the tip of the triangle that I already have in my hair. So this section that I just parted off is going to be two but I'm going to twist it in one and pin it away until I get back to the front. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. So as I take this parting down from the middle, I go directly behind my ear but not too far back. Now for the back, I'm starting my first parting off at the right side at the top going to the left at the back of my ear. To get this section as even as possible, I'm using my pointing finger to locate the middle of the back of my head. Then I part it going upwards to match with the parting on the other side. Again, I'm starting from the center of my head and I use my finger to guide me and I bring this parting down to the back of my ear. Now for the last parting, all I gotta do is part my hair straight down the middle. Me and you. 
Now for the two big ones I have on the sides, all I gotta do is section them in half, parting them going up towards the first one I did. I'm going to go on the other side and do the same thing. Now I'm going to go straight to using a jam to smooth it out and putting them in hair ties. I'm using hair ties so I could grip them tighter at the root and also so I could center them exactly where I want them. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this with every one of them. Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you yeah. Oh yeah Like how you do it alright Everything good alright alright Like how you think alright Always on top of I'm gonna use this hair to do the braids. It's called Just Glam. It's 65 inches according to the package and the color is number one. I'm starting from the back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna braid the synthetic hair in with my natural hair and I'm gonna braid it all the way down to the end. And I'm gonna also be using jam as I braid it along just to get it nice and smooth. As you may notice, I only fold the braiding hair in half, and so I use my hair as the third piece. And as I go down to where my hair ends, I borrow pieces from the braiding hair to make it up to the three pieces to finish it off. Especially when she reckless And be you my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and make my first bantu knot. And all I'm doing is wrapping it around and around. And I'm trying not to make it too tight because I want it to have this nice puppy look. And as I get towards the end, I made it tighter and I wrap it underneath what I already wrapped. And I keep making it tighter just so it will be nicely secure. Now I'm going to use this edge control by edge effect to lay my edges. So with this string that I got from the beauty supply store, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the very first one in the front and I'm just going to be wrapping it all over in no special direction, no special way, just wrapping it until I'm satisfied with how it's looking. now i'm gonna add these little rings to it to accessorize it a little bit more and i'm gonna add them all over in the front and that's all i'm gonna do to my hair to complete this look and i'm gonna go do my makeup and i will be back to show you guys the finished look and this is the finished look you guys after my makeup and all i'm absolutely loving it it turns out much better than I expected it to. It's something I've always wanted to do in my hair. I love bantu knots, but I've never got the chance to do it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!